Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Bill Harris. Enterovirus is spreading across the Midwest. The disease has been confirmed in Missouri and Illinois. And tonight, the CDC is testing to determine if the virus caused illness in eight other states, including Michigan. NBC 25's Waller Smith Randolph speaking with local officials today. He's live in the Genesee County Health Department with our top story. Walter. Bill, no confirmed cases in Genesee County or across Michigan just yet, but health officials tell me it's only a matter of time. At first glance, enterovirus can seem like the common cold, but if not caught early, it could be deadly. Michigan emergency rooms on standby for a severe respiratory illness. We're seeing an increase in kids going to the hospital for respiratory illness. Genesee County Health Officer Mark Valachek hoping enterovirus doesn't hit mid-Michigan. This is a virus that's easily spread. There are actually hundreds of enteroviruses. But Genesis ER doctor Sean Abraham says this particular strand of enterovirus isn't like the rest. This virus has caused some people to become very, very sick who didn't have underlying respiratory problems. Children are most at risk of contracting the illness. They're around a lot of other children all the time, and they're still developing their immune system. But there are ways to protect yourself and your child. As long as people are conscientious about washing their hands and cleansing their hands after close contact with other people, these generally don't spread quite as easily. Valachek hoping neighbors heed their doctor's advice. We need to take precautions. So these hospital beds stay empty. Valachek tells me the increase in hospital visits happened this past weekend across Michigan. Testing has been sent to the Michigan Department of Community Health. Final results are expected in the coming days. For now, we're live at the Genesee County Health Department. Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. Walter, thank you. Doctors also trying to reach out to parents to make them aware of some symptoms their child may show if they contract the virus. It will start out just like a common cold. And doctors say not every runny nose, though, is a case of enterovirus. Enterovirus, but to be alert, children will then develop a severe cough, followed by a fever and rashes. Lastly, the child will experience a difficulty in